So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stir up the batter, then we're going to make the slaw, then we're going to just brown the tortillas off a little bit, and then we're going to fry the fish. But right now, I've got the dry ingredients for the beer batter mixed together. I've got a cup of cornstarch, a cup of uh, all-purpose flour, a little one-finger pinch like that of baking soda, baking powder, and then a tablespoon of Creole seasoning. And I'm going to stir in one just regular light beer. Just throw in a handful of ice. Stir that up. And then by the time we get over there, the ice should be melted. And if it's not, we'll just add a drop of water. And I've got some shredded cabbage. And a little bit of red pepper for color there. Starting off with a, about a cup of blue plate mayonnaise. This is going to be a, a chipotle flavored uh, slaw, which is a, a great a great Mexican style flavor. It's a smoked jalapeno pepper. We're going to we're going to add a uh, good sized pepper, and then we're going to get a little bit of the juice out of the can. I want this to be spicy because it's really the only the only spice that's going to be on this. I don't have a sauce for this other than the of course, we can put some crystal or Tabasco or something on there. And I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to blend that with my little hand blender. I'm going to add some lime juice. And a good four finger pinch of Creole seasoning. A little salt and pepper. I want this to be fairly highly seasoned. I mean, to me, the secret of a good fish taco, I mean, obviously, is having good Louisiana fish, but it's also having a, a really nicely seasoned slaw. And you can do this in a blender, but I, I like my little, my little hand blender. Okay. And I'm using glass bowls for the uh, for the benefit of uh, of television here. <laughs> I usually have a much wider one to mix in, but we'll make this work. Now this will, if you, I'm sure you've noticed when you make slaw that after you add the dressing, it loosens up a bit the the salt and the and the, uh, the acid from the lime juice and everything make the, make the cabbage give off some liquid, but I want it nice and wet. I want it wet, fairly highly seasoned. I'm going to add chopped green onions, a good handful, of that, and some chopped cilantro. Okay, our tortillas are next. I've got a hot iron skillet, and these are, these are white corn tortillas, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start browning them off. And while that one's browning, I'm going to check my batter. See, you know, the, my beer batter's thinned out nicely. And I said, what I want is the consistency of, of heavy cream. By the time the rest of that ice melts, it'll be in good shape. I'm going to season that with a little Creole seasoning. I'm going to put this fish right down in the batter. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to wave it through the grease like that two or three times. And then when I let go of it, it's going to be close to floating. Now, if I was to drop that straight in, or drop it in a basket straight in, what would happen? It, was go, it would go to the bottom and stick. Doing it this way makes sure that it, it does not stick. Now this is a, uh, be a great buffet out in the yard if you wanted to set up something like that. Um, and this is, can be done completely ahead of time. So I've got, I've got my, my brown tortillas, I've got my slaw, a little bit of uh, avocado and tomato garnish and some cilantro and, uh, and green onion garnish as well. So I'm just going to put these together. And you, these tortillas are nice and nice and hot and warm. I want a good bit of slaw. Actually, I want, I want about as much slaw as I have, have fish. Good sprinkle of uh, green onion and cilantro. That's got so much on there it's not going to stay shut. This is also, a, if you didn't catch a whole lot of fish, this is a good way to stretch 
stretch your fish a little bit. And a little, a little lime juice to squeeze on there. So we've got batter fried Louisiana speckled trout tacos with chipotle mayonnaise, avocado, and tomato from GW Fins.